What is going on? Welcome to episode 128 of the Nintendo Powercast. I'm your host, N64 Josh, on this NPC Mini. That music you just heard was from On Being Human. You can check them out on Spotify and YouTube. Remember, this is an unofficial Nintendo podcast. And if you'd like to get yourself a free book from Audible, you can go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. There you can pick up something like Ready Player One, Blood, Sweat, and Pixels. So many good audiobooks. Audibletrial.com slash NPC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OPC. If you go to n64josh.com slash OPC, you automatically save $10 at checkout. I love these gaming chairs. There you go. Got so many different colors to choose from. Go check them out. N64josh.com slash OPC. Lastly, I wrote the Gamer's Guide to Podcasting. If you're thinking about starting your own podcast, you want to get going on content creation and, and making it about, you know, gaming, that's your passion, then check out the Gamer's Guide to Podcasting by going to N64josh.com slash podcast book. Let's get to some announcements. Hey! Listen. We do this show live on twitch.tv slash n64josh, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Guys, I want to say what's up to everybody in chat with me, Lumberjoke, Rust Belt Kid, Nightcrawler, Pudding, anybody that's just lurking, thank you so much for being here with me live. So much hype right now, guys, because of the Nintendo Direct that we just had. I am streaming on Twitch. I am streaming, streaming Smash Bros. on Twitch Monday through Friday starting at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm, I am going to get my chops up at that game. So that's what we've been streaming. Been having a really good time this week. And I'm um, really, really starting to see some improvements in Smash, which is really, really cool. So that's happening 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 a.m. Eastern. Grab some coffee. Come hang out for a little bit. We only, I only stream for about an hour and a half. It's not, not super long, but it just gets me streaming every day. All right. On Fridays at 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 9 a.m. Eastern, we are still doing the first look. And uh, we've, we've got a few things to check out this week. I believe, as long as it's released, which I think it's coming out tonight, the uh, DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're going to probably look at that. We might even do um, a little bit of a deep dive into that one. And uh, we are going to be looking at Blade Strangers also. And then uh, maybe something else that, that dropped in the eShop. So um, you just got to gotta come, come check it out. It's twitch.tv slash n64josh. All right, let's get, to, uh, let's get to what's coming soon. The Nintendo uh, download for the 13th of September. <laughs> All right, so Nintendo Switch Retail. Xenoblade Chronicles 2, Torna, the Golden Country. It's coming out tomorrow. Although, I believe if you have the DLC, if you bought the expansion, like the Season Pass, you get to play it tomorrow. The physical version is actually coming out next Friday, from my understanding. Uh, Labyrinth. Labyrinth of Refrain. Coven of Dusk. Uh, is going to be out Tuesday the 18th. And then Scribblenauts Mega Pack is going to be out Tuesday the 18th. And this Mega Pack is going to have uh, uh, classic games with all new content to explore. Scribblenauts Unlimited and uh, Unmasked. So there you go. You're going to have a lot of Scribblenauts to play. And those are actually good Scribblenauts games, unlike the one that already released on the Switch. So if you're, uh, if you're a fan of the series, go, go check those out. As far as the eShop goes, on the 18th, we have Undertale. Uh, Wasteland 2, the director's cut, is out. Bastion is out. Uh, Ninja Commando is out. Danger Mouse, the Danger Games, is, is already out. <laughs> uh, Defunct came out today. Uh, Dolings Arcade, out today. Monkey King, Master of the Clouds. Again, out. It's already been out. Um, here we go. And guys, this list comes directly from Nintendo's PR department. So they they have some games that are that are that are released even in the past week. So that's why that's where the, that's where this list generates from. If anybody's wondering why some of these games came out on the sixth and we're hearing about them again, it's just it's just the the list that Nintendo puts out. So. Uh, old School Musical, out today. Omvorm comes out the 18th of September. Senren Kaguru Reflexions is out today. Shadow Fight 2, out today. A lot of games out today. Wow. Uh, Siegecraft Commander, out the 19th of September. Slice, Dice, and Rice, 
it's already out. Super Dungeon Tactics out today. Surgeon Simulator CPR out today. They got vid I know I saw a video for that on Nintendo's YouTube channel. Sword of the Guardian comes out the 18th. Uh, the Mahjong Huntress out today. The Spectrum Retreat out today. Warlock of Firetop Mountain out today. And there's also a video for that on Nintendo's uh, YouTube channel. And then Switch DLC, we're talking about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Yep, the 14th. You can, if you already have the season pass, you can check it out on the 14th. And then um, it launches on the 21st. Okay. Uh, this is kind of neat. This little little side note here. If you're doing any kind of Animal Crossing pocket camp, there's a Splatoon 2 crossover event. So if you want to you get back into uh, pocket camp, Check it out if you you know want to see what uh, what kind of items you can get to uh, to show off from Splatoon. So there you go. That is the releases for this week. Let's talk about the games that are on sale. All right, here we go. There is this again, guys. Sixty one deals. Okay, this is taken right from Nintendo.com, and uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Shikondo Soul Eater is on sale. Flat Heroes, Final Light, The Prison, Spheroids, Epic Loon is half off, seven forty nine. Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy is twenty nine ninety nine. Figment, Airmail, Lost Sea, Johnny Turbo, Johnny Turbo's Arcade Super Burger Time, Yonder, The Cloud Catcher Chronicles. Immortal Redneck, it was a first-person shooter, it looked, looked interesting, is down to $13.99. Uh, Giotia, I'm not even sure if I'm saying it right. It's down from $9.99 to $2.49. Sparkle Zero. Where Are My Friends? Toki Tori is on sale for $2.74. So there you go, that's a deal. Um, Gekidu Kintaro's Revenge is uh, down from $14.99 to $9.89. No Thing is $0.49. Cents. Okay. Sparkle 3 Genesis, $0.99. Cents. Totes the Goat, $2.49. Uh, the Final Station, down to $15.99. Tokitori 2 Plus Nintendo Switch Edition is down a little bit to $8.24. There is a demo of that in the eShop if you want to check it out. Twin Robots Ultimate Edition. Zeo Drifter, down 50% off to $4.99. Frederick 2, Evil Strikes Back. There's Frederick again. I think he's in here every week. He's 49 cents down from 4.99. Uh, Baseball Riot. Cubic down to 99 cents. Brawl down from 9.99 to 99 cents. Uh, Neo Geo King of the Monsters is 4.79. I recommend this one. I really enjoy this one as a classic like monster wrestling game. Is really what it boils down to. So if you have people you can play with like uh, on the couch, it's 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 a pretty fun game, and for under five bucks, it's a it's a steal in my eyes. Grand Prix Rock and Racing, Frederick Resurrection of Music is fifty nine cents down from five ninety nine. Bleed is down to four oh seven from fourteen ninety nine. Mecco Tales is down to seventy nine cents from nine ninety nine. Mutant Muds Collection, Plague Road ninety nine cents from ten dollars. Plan Plantera Deluxe, uh, Vostok Inc. Pretty pretty cool twin stick shooter you could check out. It's uh, got a demo in the eShop as well. Um, Rive Ultimate Edition, Rock and Racing Off Road DX, Sonic Forces twenty three ninety nine, Cartoon Network Battle Crashers is fourteen ninety nine down from twenty nine ninety nine, Monster Jam Crush It same fourteen ninety nine. Perceptions down from nineteen ninety nine to eight ninety nine. Tumblestone three seventy four from fourteen ninety nine. You got Neo Geo Burning Fight, Astro Bears, Astro Bears Party ninety nine cents. Don't miss it. In Versus Deluxe eight ninety nine. I recommend that one. You should check it out if you haven't. Uh, Tower of Babel is five forty nine down from nine ninety nine. You got the Art of Fighting at four seventy nine. Robonauts, 99 cents. The Bridge, 249. Neo Geo Puzzled, 
Four seventy nine down from seven ninety nine. Phantom Trigger, Super Sidekicks from Neo Geo. It's a soccer game. Uh, Samurai Showdown. I think I have that one. No, I have the third one. I think the third one was the first one to come out, and I picked it up. Uh, Fatal Fury Two, also four seventy nine. Tumble Seed four ninety four down from fourteen ninety nine. Mister Shifty eleven ninety nine. Neo Geo Alpha Mission Two. 479 metal slug the same and king of fighters 94 also the same so there you go there are your 61 sales some pretty good games in that mix so make sure to make sure to check out a few of those and again a few of them have demos as well so you can see if they are for you and then snag them at a sale price so pretty pretty good stuff pretty good stuff all right let's get to the news this is going to be an exciting one and we're just going to kind of give the highlights of this so let's jump into it. All right, so I will give you guys just fair warning. It's going to be a little shorter show than normal because I kind of just want to give a few highlights of the direct and then we will take a deep dive into these things on Tuesday with uh, um, with Eric and Mel. So uh, the, the direct started off Luigi's Mansion 3, like looking good. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm really excited to uh, to jump back into Luigi's Mansion. Really enjoyed, um, really enjoyed the uh, the 3DS game, and I'll probably check out the uh, the first game that's coming to the 3DS as well. So, and we did see some 3DS games, some highlights there. And uh, again, we'll 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 break it down game by game. But just a few of the highlights, and and these are just some of the highlights for me too. Like Capcom classic beat 'em ups with online games like like Final Fight and Captain Command, like so many arcade titles. Like I was just talking about in the last episode and I'm so glad to see Capcom is finally getting on board, but they're taking it to the next, they're taking the next step and adding online. And I really, really like the fact that they're doing that. You know, we're really seeing, as you're going to see, as we get down through this list, the third party support is becoming insane on the switch. And it's so awesome. So awesome to see. So Splatoon 2 has an update. You can get exclusive items for signing up for Nintendo Switch Online for the 12-month or a family plan. There are exclusive items available for signing up for, uh, for that. They did give us some Nintendo Switch Online details, but really not much has changed from what we already knew. They, they talked about cloud saves briefly, but didn't say what, we, what games weren't covered. They... Really, other than there is now a list of all 20 NES games or NES games that will be available at launch, we we didn't really get much more much more details than that. There was an email that did go out that's worth mentioning. If you um, if you've opted in for emails, you probably saw it. If you didn't, this email states that you need to decide on what your gamer tag is, and it's not. It's it's not it it makes it sound like you're not gonna be able to change it. So make sure you've picked something you liked, which I know for some people is going to be a step in the wrong direction because you got Xbox where you can change your gamer tag whenever you want. They charge you ten bucks for it. Then you have PlayStation where you can't change it and people are furious about it and you know, don't like the fact that they they, they don't get the options. So I again I hope this isn't uh we'll just see. We'll see. We don't we don't uh we don't know how everything's going to pan out and it's a, it's a work in progress. That's what you got to this Nintendo online is a work in progress. Nintendo Switch online. So, let's just we're just going to have to roll with these punches for a little while. And uh, and and hopefully they'll hopefully they'll get it right with some updates. We'll see. We'll see. Something kind of cool exclusive NES controllers can be purchased if you sign up with Nintendo online um Nintendo Switch online. The two pack of controllers and now this is a any a nes controller d-pad a button b button and it actually has the attachment so you can you can attach it to your switch and the, it will charge the battery that's how uh that's that's how you're going to charge these things now as soon as i saw them i was like that kind of looks hideous so i'm definitely investing in a charging stand so i could just put them on there and let them charge uh in peace away from the switch um 
I don't. I'm curious if you have one connected. If you have the left one connected, if you could actually use the D-pad for certain games, and then have, uh, have, have your other your regular Joy-Con on the other side for jumping and things like that. It would ultimately depend on if there were triggers for the game you were using, but it looks like it puts it in the right place, so you might be able to actually use the D-pad on those uh, those NES controllers. So we'll just have to wait and see there. Um, but they are basically exclusive to signing up with Nintendo Switch Online. So that's the only way you're going to be able to purchase them. And so you've already hear people talking about, oh, they're just going to be a collector's item. I'm not going to use them. I'm going to keep them in the box, that kind of thing. So, you know, it. Uh, I, personally, I, I'm, I want to use them. I want to use them. I, I love playing those classic games with the classic controller. So that's... Uh, that's that's what I'll be doing. I'll save the box, of course. You guys know I will. Um, we got Final Fantasy games for days. Like, so many Final Fantasy games. Pudding says, I will buy <laughs> Final Fantasy X for the fifth time. Like, so many. I, I want to say there's like six or seven games, I, I think at least that are going to be making their way to the switch we got classic games like i'm looking at chat it says seven eight and ten you know we know crystal chronicles we know 15 pocket edition like crazy crazy how many and again here it is here is that third party support like i mean square's been there right square has has been there but like this is crazy. And these Final Fantasy games are also making their way. Uh, some are making their way to the other consoles as well. Xbox put out a tweet. You know, so it's not like they're exclusive. There may be there may be one that is. I, I, I don't remember. And again, we'll dig into it deeper on Tuesday. But if you're a fan of Final Fantasy, you're going to have some incredible games on the go. That And that's 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 all I know. I don't. I'm going to try a lot of these for the first time, you know, so that's, uh, it's, it's going to be, I did see a tweet that said, I don't know who the guy, the guy was, but apparently, uh, maybe he was the creator of final fantasy and he did not want to see any more of his games on Nintendo consoles. And they said he was probably rolling over in his grave right now. I don't know the backstory to that. I'll see if I can find out more info on it, but found it, found it interesting. Nonetheless, we have tabletop games that got announced that will be coming to the switch. And this is this is pretty cool. The game that got me the most hype is Catan, Settlers of Catan. I love, love, love that game. And so, again, my fingers are crossed that there's some online because we have family that we love to play that game with that don't they do not live near us. It's my aunt and uncle who I've talked about before. And so, it would be great to be able to uh, um, to play those games. But I'll be honest with you. Ever since the first time I played that game, I wanted a digital version of it. I wanted to be able to put my iPad in the center of the table, have it build the board, and then everybody held their game pieces on their phone, right? So whatever cards you got, whatever inventory, so easy to clean up, right? So easy to clean up. So I'm really excited to check this out. It'll 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 be cool. And uh, we saw more from from Super Mario Party. We got to see the the switches put together. There was a lot of stuff, guys. This 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 direct felt like more information than E3. Now the E3 uh, initial video had a ton of games as well, but this just felt like this felt like wow. Um, we are getting Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. They've added Toadette, who can turn into Peach or Peachette, I think is what they what they refer to her as, and she's kind of floaty like Super Mario Bros. Two. This is one of, if not the best, new series so the new super mario bros started on ds and you have that one you have the 3ds version which they call two which is all about collecting coins then you have the one on the wii then you have the one on the wii u and now that one's coming over to the switch i mean it would have been cool had it been a new game but this game is so good i'm really glad that a lot of you are going to get to experience it for the first time because it is a blast and i can tell you right now it will be my wife and i will stream this game through to completion and you guys will laugh every time she jumps off my head and sends me to my death because it happens all the time and then she does her embarrassed laugh where she can't really keep it together and it is it is glorious it is glorious so um the box art for it looks really cool i've already seen that floating around twitter and everything and uh, so I'm excited. I'm excited to play to play that one again. And uh, 
Yeah, it's coming out in January 2019, so it missed the holiday, but uh, there's so many games. There's so many games. It is crazy. Of course, make sure to make sure to check out the the full direct if you didn't get a chance to watch it, because there's uh, there's a lot a lot to see. So to kind of finish off the direct here, I loved what they did. I love what they did. We we see we did get the announcement for the Pokemon uh, Switch hardware bundle, the exclusive Switch with the brown and yellow Joy Cons. We get the Smash. Uh, limited edition special edition console and it has it has uh, graphics on the dock and it has joy cons that have uh, some graphics on them as well nothing on the tablet which I found interesting so maybe we can just import the dock and the joy cons if you really uh, you don't want to have to invest again comes with a digital version of the game and it comes out November 2nd so immediately I saw Nightcrawler who's my co-host on the Smash Bros cast mentioning uh, mentioning that that may be when the beta is launching possibly you know we don't we don't have there's no, nothing confirming that but that's uh that's that's kind of that's kind of what we're thinking so that's speculation right there but they've got to be doing a beta for this game the second is a friday and nintendo usually does their betas on fridays so we'll see we'll see that i mean smash with uh, as many switches will be in the wild my word, like the servers are going to get melted, which they need to, they got to test those things. So, um, but yeah, the console, the, the new switch, uh, special edition smash console coming out November 2nd has a digital copy of the game. And so, um, if you're, if you're in the market and that's what you're wanting, it's they've, I mean, <laughs> the choices with limited edition stuff for Smash is crazy because you got the controller, the the uh, the pro controller coming with the steel book also. So decisions, decisions, you know, which uh, which do you choose after the console sh is shown the limited edition console? We then they're like, hey, there may be a little bit more, right? Like Nintendo does. They always do this. Make sure to stay to the end, right? Here we see Isabel from Animal Crossing, one of my favorite series, running around a desk, basically playing Mare, which she has to do in New Leaf when you don't show up. And this is how it went. It went, Animal Crossing on the Switch! And then I went, Isabel and Smash. And then they showed her in Smash, right? She got this invitation. She said she was going to take a break. It was like, oh, this is just for Smash. Like, this is the best troll ever. Like, good job, Nintendo. Because they knew, I mean, they've already said, hey, we know you guys want Animal Crossing. We know you want it. So it's it will happen. You, we, we know you want it. But <laughs> here it is. Oh, she's in Smash. Apparently, she is not a clone of the villager either. She is her own character. And I saw... Uh, I saw a tweet. I did hit the retweet button on this one. It showed her uh, where she's at in the banner, and she's standing next to Cloud, like, like throwing up like a uh, like a party popper with confetti and stuff. So it was cool to see her added added to the Smash banner. After after they showed her in Smash, it then the camera then went to Tom Nook sitting at a desk, flickering a lamp. And then he goes into a speech how, you know, people have got to be tuckered out from going camping and smashing and, you know, obviously referencing Pocket Camp and uh, Smash Bros. And then after his little monologue, we see Welcome to Animal Crossing 2019. And we... We're getting Animal Crossing on the Switch 2019. I was watching with my wife. She squealed. I had a few other kids with me while we were watching it. Everybody's stoked. Like, that's a guaranteed... If they do a, if they do an Animal Crossing Switch, not only do we got to make sure I get one for each of my each of my gals, my, my both my daughters and my wife, but we got to make sure my aunt gets one. We got to keep the tradition going, right? So, um it's going to be crazy. Everybody is so hyped. I've been posting pictures in the discord. If you guys haven't, <laughs> you guys haven't, uh, haven't seen, um, I just have all these, all of Tom's nooks, like different facial expressions that I just keep using. 
<laughs> to answer different people and a few people are triggered but uh um so hyped i i'm so stoked like i'm i'm very surprised that of course this is what i wanted i'm i'm surprised that nintendo i mean nintendo's really really they're doing it right they're doing it right they have they have done a great job of of keeping the hype train going for about six months and maybe even longer. I, I, we don't know when Animal Crossing is going to land for the uh, for the Switch, but like you know, they they teased Bayonetta three at the Game Awards. They teased Metroid Prime four. So they're they're doing a good job of teasing a few games and then keeping a solid flow of games for about six months, right? Because the directs are they're, they're the, the, these big directs are basically quarterly, you know, give or take and. And so they're doing an incredible job of just keeping the hype train going. There is such a great mix of third parties and uh, third parties and first party titles. They showed Yoshi again. Yoshi's looking great. Yoshi's uh, Crafted World, I believe is what it was called, is looking really good. So third parties allow Nintendo to work on stuff without people going, why don't we have any games? So it's, it's really, really a great time to be a Nintendo fan. Um, good on them for giving us so info. I saw, or so much info. I saw a tweet, somebody, I think it was Nintendo talk who was like, <laughs> he was like, you know, Xbox, you could tell us, it was like referring to the final fantasy games. Like you could do some, like do some little directs, you know, I don't want to be too direct, but you could do something. It might've been, it might've been Sean from if we ran Nintendo. I can't remember who it was, but, um, I was, I was laughing. I was laughing. It was pretty, it was pretty funny, but Nintendo does such a great job of communicating and, uh, and just keeping, uh, keeping, keeping the hype trim going. So, um, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. We're going to, we're going to wrap it up. All right. Well, you can follow me on Twitter at N64Josh. You can follow this show at NPowerCast. The show notes for this episode can be found at n64josh.com slash NPC128. NPC128. If you want to email the show, NPC at N64Josh.com. You want to get yourself a free book from Audible, go to audibletrial.com slash NPC. Pick up Ready Player One, pick up Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, and see the what goes into the games we play. Because it's crazy. Games like The Witcher 3, man, the story with that game is nuts. Uncharted, Shovel Knight, so many great games. Blood, Sweat, and Pixels, check it out. It's audibletrial.com slash NPC. The chair I'm sitting in is from OP Seat. Go to n64josh.com slash OPC. You'll automatically save $10 at checkout. And guys, the podcast that I was on with them airs on Friday. And it was it was so much fun to do. I really, really enjoyed hanging out with, uh, with their CEO and, and just talking content creation and um, just like how I get things done and, and my motivation, all that kind of stuff. It was really a good time. And I'll give you guys a, a little little secret. I'm launching another podcast that's going to be all about content creation. And I'm just going to literally throw out everything I know, everything I do, and interview other content creators so that hopefully I can help you guys reach the goals you want to reach if you want to start doing this kind of stuff. So that's going to be starting very, very soon. I'm going to be recording the first episodes this weekend. I have a Patreon if you want, to, if you want an extra, extra show a month. Go to patreon.com slash n64josh. There's a few different tiers available there. You can check them out. We do have we do have some merch. You wanna you wanna check out like a Smash Bros. Cash shirt or I have to make a new Nintendo Power Cash shirt because they printed one and then said we couldn't use the name Nintendo on it. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do there. We'll we'll, we'll figure something out. But you go to n64josh.com slash store, you will see all of the merch available. I have a blue shell that says, hello darkness, my old friend, because <laughs> that's literally how I feel every time one of those things is fired at me. So check it out, n64josh.com slash store. Come hang out in our Discord, guys. Such a good time. So many great people. You're going to see all my Tom Nook pictures. That's n64josh.com slash Discord. Just put that into your browser. It will open up the app store. You'll download the app. You'll sign up for Discord, and you'll be, you'll be hanging out with us. It's a good time. 
We also have a Facebook group, n64josh.com slash Facebook group. Go check it out. And if you could rate and review on iTunes, I'd greatly appreciate it. We're almost to 200. Thanks, guys. We'll see you Tuesday. Bye now.